Hello, hello. I've got another silver exotic token, and I can see that we could get a lot of things out of this. A crow I would love, an Asian bear. I know that there are penguins in here. Turtles! Oh, I would love it. But we can't get the jungle ones yet. What are we gonna get? Polar bear. Okay, okay. Maybe it heard that I wanted a penguin and it gave me the next best snowy thing. <laughs> Uh, but yes, um, it's just a lot of hoping and praying, it seems, from these exotic tokens. But we will be doing our first set of boat exploration stuff soon, which should give us some more, I think. So then maybe we can get a penguin then? Look, I'm just obsessed with penguins, but this polar bear, he looks like he's a snow creature, so I think he should be useful for doing some of the... The, uh, the, the, the the quests, the exotic quests. So I don't think it's a bad thing that we got him. It's probably a good thing. And he was a two star, I believe. So whenever we can get a two star, I'll be happy. But for now, we've got to do some more grinding, I think. And just a little bit of waiting for that boat stuff to finish up. Oh, yeah. Obviously, I want to use up all of my energy, clear out everything. And then... Then we're going to be focusing on those exotic creatures. I don't think exotics actually help with our regular like level ups, like our player level ups or not. I don't know. But I do know that they do help us with all of those exotic map quests. So I'm kind of obsessed at the moment with exotic quests. She's given us a key. I don't know if that was a good exchange or not, but I've done it now. So it is what it is. And of course, I'm also trying to finish out or finish doing as many orders as I can in a day as well. Just so that we can get player level ups. But I don't, I don't really have anything going on in co-op yet. Not, not very much at least. But we do have the new clan set up now with everyone from the, uh, the Discord server in there pretty much that wanted to play Farmville 3. We got a banging, banging clan called Quack Quack. It's fantastic. Um, we're gonna be the best Farmville 3 players in the world. Okay, do I actually believe that? Of course not, but maybe. If only. But, yeah, I think the only main things that I notice from this is, like, playing this game at this point is just the fact that the gold really doesn't come in very quickly, so the fact that it makes you sell a lot of stuff, I guess, is a good thing in a way. But it's like, they could just make all of the stuff just cost a little less. Like, does it have to be this grindy? Oh, Chad's getting blocked by a chicken. Look at that chicken making his way into his pen. Very strange. Looks like we can do this soy sauce order as well. And will this take us up to the next box with an animal in it? Oh, it looks like we should be fine. Oh no. Even with both of them, we're still going to have to do another one. Jeez. Jeez, game. Um, we can also make rope, which I don't know what rope's really used for, if anything. Maybe we can just sell it. But the actually trying to manage the resources and everything can be a bit of a pain because trying to do orders and doing all the like di um, dessert stuff and everything else, I imagine, is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a trouble. So yes, I'm unsure. But in the wooden animal crates, we get like an animal, we can get elixirs and stuff. But I'd really like to get those elixirs so that I can like upgrade my polar bear. Then we can do some map stuff. We can do some crazy map stuff. If we get like a... I see that there's four stars. And I don't know if we can unlock four stars at this point if we just get really lucky. Like maybe? Maybe we can? I've run out of water. But who do we get? Chicken, cow? Cow! And a fence. And a tree. And an elixir. Very cool. So yeah, the fact that they give us elixirs out of those is pretty good. Because, again, they're going to be useful for upgrading things. But some of these orders look a little bit iffy. I'm not going to lie, I can try and do them. But I'm not sure, Mr. Cow. Mr. Holstein. But it looks like we've got three different breeds of cow. I don't know if that actually is any proper difference between them. But I do know that we have three different breeds of cow. So, yeah. Also, I want to get rid of this notification. Can I just... Why Why is he still there? I just tried to get rid of that notification. Why? Why, game? Why do you do me dirty like this? 
Okay, another mini break. I'm back. Boat house is complete. I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing with this. You have now unlocked boat deliveries! Yay! Thank you, Captain. To complete these deliveries, you need to pack boxes with goods. Each box accepts a certain type of item. Select a box to see the items. All items you send reward different amounts of boat ribbons. Pack higher value items for more boat ribbons and win better rewards. Level up your farm hens. Oh, I didn't read that. <laughs> Wait, what? We need 12 of these? Oh my god. This is going to be tough. Well, I guess at least the eggs are worth a decent amount. But now that I've done... I c I c can I even make ice creams yet? So I can send it off. Oh, so I see. If I actually had the dessert area unlocked, I could have gotten a gold one. Oh, I guess we'll have to make do with the silver for now. That kind of sucks. So we got an elixir, and what are we getting? Our other silver? An otter! Oh, he's quite cute. Look at the otter. Hi, otter. Although I don't know if he's going to be useful because we already have a mountain creature. So I don't know if, like, if you already have two star animals or three star ones, if it's actually even worth it. And my goodness, I have nowhere to put this. Everything is blocked. Just. Because the habitats are so big. Maybe if we move this? Looks like the chicken's staring at the windmill as well. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, maybe if we clear out some stuff and we move the windmill, then maybe? Maybe it'll fit then? Chicken, what are you staring at the windmill for? Calm down. Here? Yeah? Oh no, it's blocked by one singular tile. No! Not like this. Am I going to have to do some like proper redecorating finally? Because up to this point, I have not bothered. But I do kind of want a house for the otter, just in case he ever becomes useful. Um, look at these cute cows sitting on the floor. Um, anyway, I'll deal with that with in a second. Uh, let's go plant some more crops for now. Like, we've got some beans, we've got some carrots, we've got some sunflowers, wheat. Um, I'm trying to think in my head where we could possibly fit another habitat, because I feel like everything's just sort of blocked off. Unless we can move the, the pizza furnace. I call it the pizza furnace, but apparently we cook omelettes in it. Maybe if we move that. Um, Carlos is staring at the chickens. Yeah, Carlos doesn't actually have anything to do right now because Carlos has no has no dessert stand yet because it's very expensive. I'm close. I'm like I'm less than a hundred gold off from the dessert stand, but I also don't know how to make any of the stuff from his dessert stand. Like an ice cream sounds complicated. Just saying. Is this enough space now? It is. Yay! There you go, Otter. You have a place of your own now. Um, but we can do some more exotic missions. So this one's asking for a snow creature. So I'm going to put in my mountain wolf and my polar bear. And that does give us five attempts. Very cool. And we could do another one. So yeah, I can only put forest animals in that slot. It seems... Oh my god, we failed! No! But yeah, it does seem like there is some form of limitation. Ow! Some form of limitation in some of these now. So it's gonna get dicey. It's probably gonna get dicey. But yeah, if that boat... We can, like, do that boat at least once a day and get a gold exotic and a silver exotic oh rope in exchange for a hammer that sounds really good actually i think i made some rope earlier but i don't remember if i sold it or used it in an order that sounds like something that i want to do defo oh i can only make one um if we can clear out some more weeds then i can probably do another one and then get myself a free hammer 
Because whenever I see those upgrade items, I'm like, hell yes, I'm going to do that. Some other things just don't seem worth it, though. But, yeah, if we move the house back... Oh, apparently we can clear this. It's counted as rubbish. Really? It looked okay. Oh, actually, no, all the fencing is, like, falling over. I thought the fences looked nice, but now that I've zoomed in, I can see that they're actually all broken. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, very good. Very good, me. Look, let's use the broken fences to decorate the house. What could possibly go wrong? Um, but we can fit this over here. Ah, there we go. We got a lot more room now. Or at least it feels like it. So when we clear out like the little bits of weeds and the, the, the trees and such, I think we'll have a lot of room. Yeah, we should be good to go. And as we play over time, I'm sure we'll get the entire area cleared out. I did see a like level 100 guy the other day that just had like room and room and room and room. It's like, Jesus, how do you even see everything? You don't really. It takes like 10 minutes just to take a look at his farm. It was like wild. That was wild. Plus, I don't know, at, at that point in the game, maybe there's just like loads of stuff that you can do all the time because at this stage in the game you're basically just waiting like wait for the crops wait for the animals to produce and i guess we wait for the boat these days uh, but there's not much else in terms of gameplay at the moment i mean don't get me wrong i wasn't expecting like a dota in farmville 3 but we'll see we'll see if any other like really interesting gameplay mechanics or anything unlock over time and plus, I should probably trash more of the, the, the things on the board, but I don't. Yeah, I don't see what the point is of having level 1s, or like, if you've already got a 2-star, what's the point of having like a 1-star? Surely that's just pointless at that point. Like, why would I not upgrade my polar bear? You know what I mean? Why would I upgrade the sea otter instead of Mr. Polar Bear? I don't get it. Maybe it will become clear in time. Oh, and there is an elephant. There's also a jackalope. Maximum level 80. Bro, I'm struggling to get into level 2. Like, I don't really see the point of upgrading him. Unless it's like, you only have one forest creature. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, why do I keep yawning? Camel? <gasps> Macaroni? A bald eagle? See, Flamingo, I've seen him. Oh, some of these are going to be so cute. An alligator? Oh my. I see a kangaroo, I see a gecko, a skunk. Man, I just want an entire finished encyclopedia of these. I wish there was a way to like look at these 3D animals and pet them and stuff as well. Maybe there is. I just don't know about it yet. But yes, I have uh, added more people now. Now that the co-op stuff is popping off. Um, I don't know if we actually gain anything else from the co-op stuff apart from just like daily gifts. Because so far I haven't really experienced anything else. 